back to another Vlogmas. Hey, welcome back to another Vlogmas. I'm Charmaine. If you're new, welcome. And yeah, you guys, I got a package. Mm, 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 mm. Y'all like my pajamas? They so cute. I'm going to show y'all them. I'm going to show y'all them. It's a jumpsuit. It's a one piece. But anyway, we got a package, y'all. Another new decor piece for the glam room. So, we're going to open it together. We're going to put it together. Hopefully, it's an easy put together because Lord knows, y'all, I've been beat. Remember this? I showed y'all in a, um in one of my Timu hauls or something like that. Let me show y'all. This is the, um, it's like a white out pen and also it's a box cutter, so... We're going to use these for both because I'm not allowed to open this box. And I'm about to block my address out on here. You just open it right here. It look like that. And you just cross out. You press and you cross it out. I'm going to show you how it look when it once it's all completed. Make sure it ain't nowhere else on here. All right. So this is how it looks. Ugh, this thing is pretty heavy. This is how it looks when you pretty much cross out your address and stuff, and then it dries up. But once it dries up, it's like nothing there. You can't see nothing. Like all you see is the the, the box behind it. <laughs> so this is a cute little handy dandy tool. And then, like I say, we just got a little blade, a little teeny blade. Yeah, and you just open up your stuff with it. Y'all, I believe this is my table, my um, console table, whatever you want to call it, for the room. I said this was going to be the last piece of decor I get for this room, you guys, but I think I'm going to change my mind again because I think I want to get one more thing. But first, I got to see if I can make room for it. But I have supposed to been ordered this table, y'all, like mad long ago. And I just kept putting it off, putting it off. And the reason why I'm still still putting it off is because, again, I mean, well, I was still putting it off is because, hold up, y'all. Like I said, I didn't really know what, what else I wanted in this room. I definitely know I wanted this table or something like it, but now I'm thinking of putting like another dresser, like a little tall dresser drawer in here. Let me move back a little bit. Hold up, y'all. I might put another um dresser drawer in, like a tall dresser in between, <clears throat> in between the um closet shelves. Um, but... I don't know. I have to play around and see, play around in my head at least before I order something like that and see how, make sure it would fit in here comfortably between those. So, but yeah, this is my table. Now, how's the weather where you are today? Because it's snowing here. Well, it was. I don't know if it still is, but it was snowing. Here are the instructions. Hopefully, they're not difficult. This came from Amazon, you guys. So, I'll put it up there on the screen. Um, it looks like it's pretty easy. Couple screws, and that's it. Or well, 13 of them, but... <laughs> Damn. <laughs> but it looks like it's pretty easy to put together, so... We gonna start. I'm just gonna lay everything out first, and then I'll get started. With this. Later on, I gotta pack y'all because I'm going away for the weekend. Just a little quick road trip back home, and um, I haven't even decided whether I'm gonna stay the whole weekend or not. Probably just come back home on Saturday. But we'll see how it goes because I think Sunday is supposed to um, be like another messy, rainy day. So, oh, 
hold up, y'all, because I see something on, I see something that I just really hope is not on my actual glass, maybe. Hold up. Okay, it's not, it's on the styrofoam. I thought, <laughs> you see all them spots, these was, uh, this was under the glass piece, I thought these spots was on the actual glass, honey, I was about to say, we not doing that. But anyway, so yeah, later on, I'm going to pack a little bag, a little spend the night bag. And yeah, so, all right, so this is actually the last piece. So it literally only has one, two, three, four pieces and a half. And then the rest is like the screw, so, oh, five pieces. And the rest is like the screw, so yeah. This seems pretty easy. All right, y'all, let's get started. You know, all the screws. I don't know if this belongs to something, but we'll leave that there. Make sure. All right. Uh, my camera stopped recording, so I don't know, but, and as you can see, I'm still struggling. It, 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 there's really no need for me to be struggling. <laughs> I just don't know. I just don't know. So, got that side in. Let's go ahead and repeat. I should have just paid somebody from Task Rabbit because I don't have the patience for this kind of stuff. And while this is just really, and mind you, I built them closets, put them together by myself. I didn't build them, but I built them myself, like every single one of them. And I was over it every single time. <laughs> so, but I've either that or you got to pay, pay somebody for your convenience, which I have no problem doing, but I don't really trust people in my house like that. Mm -mm. So, I guess either I do it myself or I trust people in my house. But we're going to go with doing it myself for now. All right, y'all. So, this is how that one came on. Pretty sturdy. Next up is this one. Let me repeat the same thing. Y'all ready for Christmas? I'm not. Not at all. I'm so busy still shopping for myself. <laughs> I ain't shop for nobody else yet. I don't got really many to shop for because grown people don't get shit from me because y'all grown. Okay? If I'm really in the spirit like that, I get y'all something. But for the most part, I only get the kids. Really. Really only get the kids. And I don't get none either. So, there's that. But, Yeah. I heard that um the stores have been been really empty though these days. I heard like a lot of people are not ready, which I beg to differ, honey, because when we was at Hobby Lobby and Five Below and shit like that the other weekend, child by especially Hobby Lobby child, which I gotta go hit them up too at some point. But I want to see how this table, how you know how it looks first, and then. I'm going to go out to get something, you know, to dress it up with. Get a little bit of table decor. But, yeah, I was like, well, it must not be here, child, because they still outside real bad <laughs> shopping. But they were seeing, like, stores like Best Buy and, you know, the stores that's usually really crowded around this time of the year. It was like, it's been pretty much like a ghost town in certain areas, so... People ain't got it. And people ain't got it no more with this inflation and shit. And people are really, really depressed. Like, nobody's really happy that the holidays is here. <clears throat> they not. 
Nobody's really care, caring like that for the holidays like that no more. Even I know for Thanksgiving, I'm not depressed or anything, but for Thanksgiving, I wasn't as excited as I usually am. And I don't know what, why, because a good time, a, a time with my family is always a good time, and that we did have. But like leading up to it, I was just like, eh, I wish you hurry up and come and go already. And I kind of feel the same way about Christmas. Like, let's wrap this up because my birthday is the following month, okay? <laughs> nah, but I don't know. It's just one of those, you know, I don't know, I guess. Oh, shit, y'all. I'm almost done. All right. So, we're going to do this next. This is the glass. Get these off. I see how I like to stay neat when I'm when I'm you know doing stuff like this. Like I cannot work in 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 like trash and clutter and all that. And I ain't even need this whole time. But better if I wouldn't have pulled the shit out, I would have needed it. Anyway, I like to clean as I go, honey. That's for everything. I don't like to have shit everywhere because it just fucks with me. I I need I need space. I need to be able to see shit. Like mm mm. All right, so boom. That's done. Now, how we put these legs on here? Because this is not really... Fix the brackets on the the top glass shelf with screws. All right. But... But the but I don't see no holes. Like... Okay, fix the brackets. Like, where... Where... Where are these screws going? Because, see, there are holes here, but there are no holes here where it's telling me to connect it to. So, I'm confused. Let me find out they sent me a faulty one because there are no holes for me to fix the stabilizer bar. Like, I'm really confused. Are the screws on the outside? Oh, okay. Wait, hold up. Let me see. Oh, okay, okay. I see it now. All right. So, this is upside down. So, I don't know. I guess it don't matter. Nah, I kind of... Well, I guess it don't matter which way you put them on because each side looks the same. So, each side looks the same. Y'all, I am so confused for no reason. Like, what is wrong with me? <laughs> it be the simplest shit that I just can't get. I be having the hardest time. And it's not even that serious. Okay. So, that's that one. Yeah, I, these things that I be ordering from um, around this time of month are Christmas gifts to myself. Cause don't nobody get me nothing, so I gotta get my own gifts, right? Even though I just said we grown, so no grown people get nothing from me, but still, <laughs> still like that's why I don't care, cause I'm gonna get it regardless. Okay, I'm gonna get something regardless. Like, I don't understand. You know what, Charmaine? Just start fucking screwing because. <sighs> All right, we're on our last piece. Um, so this is just a stabilizer bar. I just put this. This I guess. By the way, this is weird. Um, oh, it goes like this. Okay. Oh, shit. Y'all. See, this what I mean. Like, this was exactly what I mean. Like, I dead did it wrong. 
Oh boy, I gotta unscrew one side. This side. This what I be meaning, yo. Like, huh. oh, annoying. All right, y'all. It's all put together. This is it. <laughs> I ain't gonna hold you. I thought it was a little bit taller, but actually, it's a perfect size, though. Because if it was, when I start putting stuff on it, I don't want it to be, you know, knocking up against the pictures and shit. So it actually is a perfect size. So it's cute. What y'all think? I think it's cute. I like it. It look real small from right there, though. Let me back it up. It look real small from, like, on camera, but in person, like, it, it's a perfect size, especially just for this just for this space right here. So, I like it. I like it a lot. It's super lightweight and stuff. Go me, I feel like Bob the Builder, Barbara the Builder, Bonquisha, nah, <laughs> but it was literally only like fucking three steps, y'all, and I still did it wrong, but anyway, we fixed it, we fixed it, but I like it, I think it's so cute, I think it's so cute, and it goes it perfectly with like the, the gold and the pictures, it, they bounce right off each other, I mean, it's really not coming off on camera the way I see it in person, but this is real cute, so yeah. I'm probably gonna um I don't know if I'm going out today or what, but or maybe just wait till the weekend. But I'm gonna go shop. Let me pull y'all up. Hold up. I'm gonna go shop for some things to you know dress it up with, but I ain't gonna put too much up there because I don't want it to be you know too crowded and cluttered looking on it. So I'll probably just um I'm definitely going to get some type of flower arrangement up there. Nice little small cute one that's going to not take up too much of the table. Oh, I was saving these for my end table. I mean, for my console table too. I was saving these too. They were on my vanity desk in the meantime. And they look cute there too. But you see these are gold and, you know, brown and it just... So let's see. Closer. Oh, look. Maybe get. I'm definitely putting this on here because. Let's see. I already got stuff to put up here. <laughs> but no. My perfume um, table. I mean, my perfumes definitely got to go over here. There's nowhere else to put them. So we just going to caddy corner that like that. And then, like I said, this is not going to stay like this. I'm definitely going to keep this one here. The mirror, I don't know. Maybe I'll do, do it like this, but do it like that. How that look, y'all? I can't, you, I imagine I can't really, maybe I can, maybe I'm just tripping, but to me, looking at it on camera, it's not giving what it's giving in person, but. Do something like that for right now. And then, maybe I'll get some books. Maybe I'll get some book order. Or this, uh, you know, the stack of books on there to put. But this is kind of like small right here. Like the the width of the table frame itself, the glass frame itself is not that wide. So I don't think books would be good on there. But I'm definitely going to get some type of flower arrangement because I want one. Period. <laughs> I wanted to like, you know, op open up the, the wall to these beautiful pictures I got hanging up here, but obviously I don't want to get nothing that's going to go too tall and cover them either, so I'll figure it out, but in the meantime and in between time, I like this hold on, let me put my little my little. look y'all, I got a little stuff up here to hold it down for now again, you guys these things are not 
well, for the most part, they are going to stay up here, but this is not. I'll just put that there for now. That perfume tray is definitely going to stay there because I have nowhere else to put it. So, and, yeah, I think it looked real cute, real, real cute, real cute. I love this table. I'm so glad it finally came. Yay. Definitely got to get something under here because this, this space being like, like under here, that space down there being open like that, it's going to bother me. <laughs> it's going to bother me. I don't know. What I could put down there yet, but I'll, I'll find something. Oh, maybe I'll get one of those like wicker baskets and put like my throw blanket in there. So when it's when I'm in here and I'm filming and it get a little, you know, cool or just I want a little cozy night, I can just grab it out of there. Yep, that's exactly what I'm going to put there. That's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to get one of those wicker baskets and put the throw covers in there. You know, something that I could throw in the back of my vanity chair and or use when I'm, like I said, filming a little sit down video and I want a nice and cozy feel in here and I could just grab the blanket and throw it on me. So, yeah. Okay. So I love it. I love it. I love it. All right, you guys. Now that that's done, child, on to my next, I got to pack something, pack a little spinning night bag. That ain't much because literally it's going to be a spinning night bag. So I, um. That ain't going to take much time at all. So, I'm probably actually getting ready to get me something to eat. Well, actually, it's shake time. Not eat time. Shake time. Still doing my two shakes a day. So, um, I might decide to go out today. I don't know. Because I don't like how I was feeling outside right now. But I'm definitely going to clean up this mess. Yeah, I forgot to show this to y'all a while ago. This is my little new makeup. Um makeup tray that sits right on the desk multi-use organizer for my makeup brushes and things this um i got this one far below a while ago but it's cute compact it's gonna fit perfectly on this desk over here because this is the next thing my vanity desk is the next thing i gotta get together only thing i need for it is a glass top i want a glass top because as you guys can see, look, I've already scratched up the wood up here. And you see that. The wood is all scratched up. So, I need definitely need to get something on there to put on top there before that whole shit just looks hoe up. But, um, so I'm going to search for something like that. Hopefully, maybe not even glass. I'd rather like one of those plexiglass ones. But whatever I come across first, that's what I'm going to get. All right, so, yeah, let me go figure out my next move, and I'll be back, y'all. I'm just hanging up some of the things that I um hauled for you guys the other day. Well, there's some of them. I'm hanging them all up. Some of them I hung up in my glam room. Um, You know, the pieces that go in there. And some I hang up in my actual closet. Yeah, this this right here, I, I just cannot wait to wear this. Like, I feel like I looked so fucking bomb in it. And I just can't wait to wear it. Like, I don't know. This two-piece, too. I can't wait to wear this. I can wait, but I'm just saying, like, I look so fucking bomb in this. This is a two-piece track suit, pretty much. It's so cute, and it feels so good on your skin. Like, it almost gives skin vibes. Like, I'm dead ass. This, 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 um, track suit from Fashion Over, I call it a track suit. Whatever they called it, whatever, but <laughs> this definitely gives, um, skims vibes the materials very very soft it's like you almost feel like you have nothing on show y'all this in the hall i forgot all about it but this is bodysuit from this fashion over sheet and i want to say this is fashion over hold up 
Might be she in because you know she in don't be putting tags on they shit. Sometimes. Let me see. Is she in? <laughs> Cause it ain't got no tag right here, but it's one down at the bottom here. But this is so cute. I ain't, I can't I'ma wear this too. No bodysuit. I should fold this up instead of no, because if I fold it up and put it away, I'm going to forget I got it. I got to see it. So, the closet in here has no particular order. I mean, it's an order, but it's no particular order. Like, I just try to keep my skirts with my skirts, my short shirts with my short shirts. You know, and so forth. My one pieces, jumpsuits toward the back, you know, since they're longer. But there's really no um organization to that closet, y'all. And then I just got on um, some sweatpants, some little shirts to fold up. Like I said, I'm about to pack me. I spend a night bag in a minute. As soon as I figure out that that um, why well, even put that away? That that tracksuit is coming. <laughs> it's going. I'm wearing that actually tomorrow, so I'll leave that out. To, I'll leave that hang, hanging up. But I'm wearing that tracksuit tomorrow. That chocolate brown one. Mm -hmm, sure am. And coming home, probably just pull out on the, uh, some sweatpants or some shit. This I'm going to give away because I don't know. I've never worn it, but now nah, I'm going to keep it. <laughs> Y'all know me. I'm always, you know, always talking about some. I'm going to give something away, then I'm going to give it, keep it. I'm gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm keeping this. This I didn't show you guys either. Oh, yes, I did. These are the jeans. I forgot. But I have a one-piece like this. It's in the back of the closet. It's a one-piece cargo jumpsuit. Same same concept, same style. It's just a one-piece. And these are just the jeans. So, I put those in there, too. And then I just got sweatpants. They go in my drawer. These. Yeah, I remember I showed you. I showed you these um, in the hall, too. And I didn't try them on because I bought a medium, first of all. And I don't know why. So, they was definitely given small. And they're supposed to be stacked at the bottom. Where? Y'all see stacks? If y'all look at the picture on she in, you go in there and type in stacked, um, stacked leg, uh, gray sweats or whatever the fuck. It definitely don't give this. This is a regular pair of sweatpants. Like these are these, just without the scrunch at the bottom. These got a scrunch at the bottom. These are just pretty much like a, a wider leg. That's the only difference. Like, but when I ordered them, they were ruched, very ruched at the bottom, very ruched. So that's why I was confused when I got it, and I was like, and then I ordered a medium. Like, why would I order a medium? I usually. Do not order sweatpants in a medium. Everything else, pant wear, uh, she in, like leggings or, you know, any stretchy type of material. Uh, yes, I do get those in a medium. But sweatpants, I'm always ordering oversized sweatpants like these. <laughs> like, I think I got these from Walmart somewhere. But I'm just saying, like, this is how big I like my sweatpants. I like them to kind of like sag and be real baggy. So, and then they don't even give no stack. This is nothing like the picture at all. Like, this is a regular straight leg sweatpant. But anyway, I'll just, you know, throw these on to walk around the house with or some shit because that's all it's given. But anyway, so let me put my bag together. And I'm showing you this all over again, y'all, but I might take this bag with me. I love it. This little heart-shaped fuzzy bag. I'm going to take the hair dryer that I put away yesterday, but I'm going to get it out and blow dry it out. I mean, and blow it on here. Or maybe it don't need that. I don't think it needs that. Anyway. All right, y'all. Let me get started on figuring out when I'm going to bring for one day. I'm going to bring more than one outfit, though, because just in case if I stay to Sunday. I'm doubting very much I'm staying to Sunday, but just in case, I'll... um put an extra little maybe leggings set or some shit in there. I don't know. All right. Um, right. I'm about to pack a bag. I don't know, y'all. I was going to bring this bag, but I think just for this bag, which I love, but I think this is going to be a little bit too big for one day. 
even though it snaps like this i love this bag you could adjust the snaps to like you know size it out size it a little bit make it a little bit smaller make it a little bit wider i think i got this bag from timo i think and then but other than that it just opens it's mad mad space in here y'all and it got like a compartments <laughs> in the back here anyway i was gonna um yeah, this bag won't be too much, though. I think I'm going to just do this one. I'm going to just do this one. My mood bag. Because... <coughs> oh. I thought I heard something, y'all. Y'all know me and my paranoia. <laughs> this one got a little compartment in the back, too. Pretty, pretty spacious one. That's the compartment. And this is the bag. So I'm probably going to bring this one because I only got, I literally only have like pajamas I fit for Saturday because I told you I'm going to wear my fit, my, um, my brown tracksuit, but I only got a fit for, um, Saturday because I'm pretty sure I'm coming home Sunday, uh, Saturday. So, and I just got like, you know, my underwear, panties. And this is what I'm probably going to, what I'm wearing back on, um, Saturday. Just one piece jump, um, my one piece black jumpsuit. So, this one went home on Saturday, or Saturday. So, I'm going to bring this. Because, y'all, even if I do go, um, state of Sunday, I ain't doing that. I ain't going nowhere. So... This might be a, 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 a two-day fit because <laughs> the ride back home in on Sunday if I do go come home Sunday. But I'm pretty sure I'm coming Saturday because I don't want to deal with driving that rain. And these are just pajamas. This is just like a little slip pajama dress that I throw on in case the heat get too much. <laughs> and then in case if they ain't got no heat, I got my two-piece. I got my two-piece pants set. Nice little velvety material, so I'm gonna be nice and warm. And then I just got some socks. That's it. And my um toiletry bag, which I'm not gonna put in there yet because I'm not done with my toiletries yet. I usually pack that last the day of. Whenever I'm packing to go somewhere, I always pack my toiletry bag the day of, and then I just throw it in my travel bag or suitcase wherever I'm going. So, and that's it. Like, that's it. So, yeah, this bag worked out very, very well. Throw my bonnet in here. I'm going to throw my bonnet in here. And like I said, my toiletry bag. And my toiletry bag. I always keep my toothpaste and the travel toothbrush in there. That don't come out. Um, couple things. My skincare. That's going in the, tra the toiletry bag. Brush for my wig. <laughs> That's going in there, you know, a little, little miscellaneous stuff, very little miscellaneous stuff, so, and that could all fit right in here, so, I'm packed, y'all, packed and ready to go tomorrow as well, y'all, did y'all get this from Sephora this year? I got this in the mail yesterday. I am so happy Sephora sent this to me. Y'all don't even know because I be so out of the loop when it comes to the scents and the fragrances and stuff. That's out, especially the designer ones. Because like I always tell y'all, I'm going to do queen. So if I like a designer one and it's too much money for my likings, I'm going to get the dupe for it. But if it's something affordable for my pockets and it makes sense to me because like bottles like this, these little ass bottles... They be, I mean, these are not pricey. They, are, they have a, they're doing a sale on these. And then they even, you know, made it so where I can smell a scent. Because like I said, I be so out of the loop with some of these designer fragrances. And um, I love that they sent this to me because I'm definitely going to um, go pick up a couple. They're reasonably priced. I know they're smaller, but so what? There's, that's fine. Because I'll spend $50 on a little bottle like this. $35. They got some in here for $35. This one is a Killian Paris. This one smells so good. And if anybody 
does want to get me anything for Christmas, I will for sure be showing them, um, sorry, picking some of these scents out of these this book. So go get, honey. I like Killian. That's starting at $50. These prices are starting, okay? These are not the actual prices. But anyway, I like Killian. I like the smell of that. Miss Dior, I like the smell of that one. Um, the Tom Ford Tobacco Vanilla smells absolutely amazing. That's starting at $70 for this bottle. So, yeah, we might be on Timu for this one because this one smells really good. <laughs> and I don't want to pay $70 for this little bottle. Well, anyway, we may, we may. And this one is the Mason Margiela Replica. Y'all probably already got some of these, so, but I'm just saying these are new to me. And I'm glad they sent this to me. I think I liked every single one in this book except this one. The Mason Margiela, I didn't like. Let me see. Oh, yeah, this is the one I didn't like. I don't like musky smell like that. Musky oil smell. I don't like that. And that's really strong with it. And speaking of that, I have that um, um, Zara Red Temptation. Not the summer one. The regular Red Temptation that was a blind by me following behind Kyber Chow. And usually she be getting it right. Her and Peyton. Peyton is on point with her scents too. But Peyton, you know, she, she spent some money on her scents. But in any case, the Zara scents, Kyber usually be good with. I'm not saying that she wasn't. I'm just saying that one I do not like. Like that one is a has a very strong musky smell. Not musky like musky under arm musky, but y'all know what I mean. If y'all wear you know perfumes and shit, that musk oil you smell is very strong and it does not go away. You know how sometimes when you spray you know on you and you let it sit for a little while and then it softens up a little bit. No, not that one. So I got a whole ass bottle. That's sitting there and I'm never going to wear. I even asked Tim that he wanted. And he said it was too strong for him. Because, yeah, it could be for me. It definitely gives masculinity. Like, it gives a masculine smell. That red temptation from Zara. Again, the regular one. Not the summer one. That one I haven't smelled yet. But, anyway. Glossy Air smelled good to me. Fenty, you know my girl Rihanna. That smelled really good. I'm going to go get that. And I'm going to pay her regular price for it too. Because I know her shit ain't astronomically priced. So I'm going to pay. I'm going to support my Rihanna. Um, YSL. I liked this one. And then there's a Valentino. Smelled good to me. This one was Donna Born in Roma. Valentino. That one smelled really good. I'm just showing y'all in case y'all like me and out of the loop with the scents and y'all might want to, you know, go try and y'all didn't get this book in the mail. <laughs> Prada, this smelled good to me. Um, this one is the Victor, Victor and Rolf. I definitely love this smell. This smelled so good to me. What fragrance is this one? Flower Bomb. That one smells really good. It says it's starting at $38, so I'm pretty sure the bottle for $38 is probably about this big, you know, but I may, may not. Black Opium Smelled Good by E. St. Laurent. Again, YSL. And Gucci Floral. This is the first time. This is the Flora Gorgeous Magnolia. This is not just the Gucci Floral. This is the Floral Magnolia. And that was my first time ever smelling any Gucci Floral on anywhere. So, and I love that. I might spend a little coin on that one. I may. I might not do that one. Yeah, some of these I really, really like the smell. Dolce & Gabbana. This is their new Devotion scent. And lastly, this is the um, Carolina Herrera, Good Girl, and the purple one. So, y'all, if y'all didn't get this book, and it, or if y'all did, tell me what y'all think down in the comments below, which one of them, which one of them is your favorite. But I'm definitely um, so happy they sent this to me, because now I know what, you know, some of these scents smell like, and now I know either whether I really want to pay for it or whether I want to dupe it. But some of them, I'm definitely just going to buy it straight out. I'm not going to dupe it, for real. Like that, like like that, um, Rihanna, like I said, she's definitely one of the ones we not duping because we're going to support our black-owned business. Okay. Prada, this Rick and Rolf, I'm not duping that one if I do get it. Yeah, it's a couple in here that I might just go ahead and splurge on y'all. I ain't cheap. But my shit just got to make sense to me. Like, I, I tell y'all all the time, my money has to make sense. My dollars got to make sense to me, period. And I do not feel comfortable or feel like it makes sense to me spending two, three, four, five hundred dollars on some little ass bottle of perfume. I don't give a fuck who made it, okay? My mama could have made it, and I'm not paying that for two squirts, and then the bottle is over. It's not happening. 
anyway um y'all that's all i got for y'all today i guess i'll see y'all tomorrow on the road or whatever well not tomorrow the next day i'll see y'all on the road in the next video put it like that and let me know down in the comments if y'all think i should um get a you know a little mini flower arrangement for my new little decor table in the glam room or should i just leave it alone of course take that c out of there you know that's not staying i just put it there because it looks better over there for right now but let me know what y'all think if i should just leave that open you know if i got enough on there already or you know just get another little piece that not you know that's not too overpowering on the table or what but let me know down in the comments but either way i'm gonna go look for something because I feel like it still needs a little something else on there just for that middle space. So, anyway, you guys, thank you for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.